So, here we see another successful print, like two bumble spools, and oh, I think this is like, it's it's probably like a little bit uh, of a good case for this thing, but um, here the Cobra 3 Max really shines, because usually this would, would be on the A1 or on probably even the, the H2D, this would be like four prints, like four to five hours each, um, and so we got like in one 11 hour print, and didn't have to exchange the build plates in between, so that this is really nice. Um, like I got so many bumble refills I need to use, so need a couple of more spools, and yeah, this is like one of the use cases, like like in this case, it, it's really, it's really, um, Obviously, just the right size. This does not work always, but uh, here we really have it. And like, like, even if the print time was not as was, would not be better, then we still had the thing that we don't need to exchange the plates four times and and um, operate the machine. So you can just print over overnight if you have it in a separate room like here. And um, yeah, this this is really yeah, like for for me this thing has really been a game changer. Like I, I still appreciate the small printers for smaller stuff, but like for jobs like this, I really like the Cobra 3 Max a whole lot and really happy with those. So coming up on 400, 400 print hours on both of mine. The other one is still running there. Like this this print job is terribly slow and I don't know why. It's probably sliced it somehow right now. Or it's should maybe not combine PLR high speed and PLA plus. Um, but yeah, like here, yeah, we're really happy.